Bit off for a climb, you frame, aren't you? Fuck. Oh, Ben. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, sorry. Did I frighten you? No. I think I was a ghost or something. Oh, get lost. Oh, you're so funny, my sides are splitting. Nah. What are you doing? What does it look like? No, no, you can't sit there. Why not? Oh, no, yeah, yeah, this is right here. Yeah, this climbing frame is private property oh. of Ben. Hey, be careful! It's a long way down. You won't want me to fall and hurt myself, would you? Look, seriously, Ben, you need to go. Adam's meeting me here. He won't like it if he finds you here with me. Are you deaf or just stupid? Why don't you ring him? Find out where he's got to. Why don't you keep your nose out of my business? Besides, I don't have credit. You can use mine if you like. No, I don't need to ring him. Adam's coming. <coughs> he said he would. I know, Ben. What do you mean, you know? What are you talking about? I know about the row. Adam's not coming. You don't know anything. We arranged to meet you. He said he would come. He wouldn't just no, leave me no, here. Adam's not coming. Why do you keep saying that? No, Glenn told me. Oh, that little shitstone. Adam told him it was over between you two, but you wanted to meet in the park later. He wasn't going to show up. He's, he's, he's meeting another girl in town right now. I'm going to forget about him. He's a twat. You're lying. Both of you are lying. Adam wouldn't just dump me like that, not without talking to me. It's, it's not fair. You wouldn't. All right, I might have made up the bit about him and the other girl. But the rest is true. Look, he's, he's not here. What else do you want? Oh, he's so going to pay for this. Nobody treats me like that and gets away with it, the little prick. So what are you doing here, then, if you knew? <laughs> Thought you'd come and laugh at me, did you? I was sitting there, letting me go on about meeting Adam with all this time. You bastard! Look, no, it's not uh, like that! Oh, huh. Maybe you thought you'd get in quick, huh? Looking for a rebound, Shag? No, 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 nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're offering... Oh, fuck all right, you! All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I should have said something, but then you... You would have just gone on... I wouldn't have got to talk to you or hang out with you. I'm sorry, all right, I am. Really? Ben, do you ever feel like nobody can ever really see you? Who said that? Oh, everything's just a huge big fucking joke to you, isn't it? Well, you know what, Benji? I wouldn't go out with you if you were the last person on the planet. Oh no, make that the universe. Oh, and that teacher of yours, Mrs. Russell, she was right about you. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. Oh, don't give me that nothing shit. You have been a miserable cunt since we got here. I'm late. We're late for what? You said you didn't have to babysit tonight. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna fuck off home. What am I gonna do? Darren's down chippy till midnight, and Mum's doing one of that Anne Summers parties, which, no offence, but I ain't hanging around for that. Bunch <laughs> of fat old slags prancing around in skimpy underwear, like looking at dirty playing cards and cackling over some massive black dildo. It is fucking me. No, Claire. I'm late. Oh, shit. Yeah. How late? Six weeks. Fuck about. Yeah. But you and Jamie split up three months ago. It's not Jamie's. Well, who's is it then? <gasps> oh, it's not that Martin's kid, is it? He was all over it at Sharice's party. He's fucking 50 <coughs> and he's got that weird thing on his neck and he's a dickhead. Do you know he threw up on Sharice's mum's bedroom floor and tried to play down for it? Fucking dick. Don't tell me you let that prick in there. It's not Martin's. Well, who's is it then? Oh, it's it's Steve's. It's Steve's. Steve who? Steve, Steve. Steve? But he's your fucking stepdad. Oh, Jesus Christ, Claire, I thought I'd know that. I fucked up. Seriously, you fucking fucked up. Thanks, what happened? How? What the fuck? It's just, it's just, oh, fuck. No, but what the actual fuck? It's just, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. It started right after me and Jamie broke up. He was just really nice, you know? He got me this bracelet, sort of a, I'm sorry your boyfriend's a cunt, sort of thing. So you fucked him? It wasn't like that. No? No! It wasn't supposed to fucking happen. It isn't supposed to be fucking happening. Too fucking right. Claire! So, sorry, babe, go on. Just, I don't know. 
We were just sat there on the sofa. <coughs> Mum was off for Shazza's hens up in Liverpool. Oh, fuck that weekend. Yeah, that weekend. So we're just sat there on the sofa and he just gave me the bracelets and I was just sad, you know. Oh no, baby, it was a shitty fucking weekend. Jamie was being a tall cock and Mum wasn't there and I just needed someone, you know. Right? Right, so like I was just like lent on him, on his shoulder, watching X Factor. Mm -hmm. And he put his arm around me. And it was nice, you know, it was comforting. Dermot had just done one of his faces. <gasps> Where he tries to look all serious. But he just looks like a confused puppy, yeah. So we were laughing and it was nice. I can't believe fucking Joe was. Ollie was fucking miles better. I know, right? And anyways, he starts stroking my hair. Oh, that's nice. No shit. No, <laughs> it, it was nice. It was what I needed, you know. Right, so? Right, so there's Danny back and she's got that like red hold neck thing on. That one where Simon can't stop staring at her tits? Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, fuck, I wish I looked like her. Oh no, right? And he turns to me and he says, he said, no, you fucking don't, you fucking stunning just the way you are. He said that, like Mr. Fucking Darcy. Who? Never mind. He said that. He said, you look stunning just the way you are. <coughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. And we're just sat there staring into each other's eyes and it's like, I can't see the X Factor anymore. Can't even hear it. And he kisses me on top of my head and I don't give a fuck about Jamie anymore. And his hand is on my shoulder, but then I think about mum and his hand is on my back and the bitch don't deserve him. And his hand is on my belly, under my top, gentle, but firm like. And I hate mum for fucking off to Liverpool this weekend when she knew I'd just split up with Jamie. And Steve's fingers are brushing my tit. And why was mum always out, always down the fucking ship? And his other hand is stroking my cheek and I wanna cry. I want to cry for all the times I fucking babysat for that bitch. And I try to look away and Steve, he just tucks his fingers under me chin and tilts me head up and, 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 and she's away the whole fucking weekend again. And he, he, he kisses me. <laughs> and she don't deserve him, the fucking slag. And I kiss him back. I know for a fuck she fucking cheated on him. And it's like a fucking, I don't know, explosion. It was never like that with Jamie, this with Steve, this was fucking hot and hard and tender all at the same time and I just didn't want it to stop. Fuck me. And that was three months ago. Fuck me. Yeah. And that was it? Yeah. It happened again? Well, like I said, she's always down the fucking ship. It's 11.43, mate. Now where'd you get off getting here 43 minutes late? 43 minutes I know, minutes I know, late. I'm sorry. You know. We'll get on with it, will you? Alright. Well, where do you want to start? Ah, oh, it'll do. These bushes over here first, then the tree. I see the old climbing fence still there. Yeah, a guy from the skip was supposed to be cut the, the other day, but they never showed. Mm. Are you ready? Yes. No, no. I've got to take a leak. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. Almost an hour late. Do you want to put some lipstick on, too? Come on, mate. You know I've got problems at home. Yeah, I know that. But you've had time off, haven't you? Yeah. So? Are you ready to get to work? Hey, Beth tried to fucking kill herself. She's got clinical depression. Yeah, well, as far as I know, it's not infectious, is it? No, it's not. And it's you who's late for work, not her, right? It's not even been two weeks. <laughs> it certainly seemed like two weeks to me. So is it okay if I go before we start, or...? Oh, go for fuck's sake. Or do you need me to hold your cock for you as well? <laughs> Oi, mate, can we borrow your ladder? Yeah, sure, mate. No, 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 sorry, sir. Uh, health and safety. Come on, mate. We got a shuttlecock caught up there. I'm sorry, sir, I can't let you use the ladder. It's against corporate policy. Sure it is, but we only need it for a minute. Well, I can't help you, I'm afraid. Our jobs will be on the line. Sorry about that. I remember the other night. Um... We were going to watch something. Something about dying dolphins or modern day slaves in the Congo, some documentary or something like that. Um, he's like that. He really likes that sort of thing. He really cares, you know. 
really fucking cares. So I grab his laptop. He was in the shower, I think. Grab his laptop. And what do I see? There's a woman on the screen. Her hands are tied and her legs are spread. And there's a man. And everywhere everything is just pink and red and thrusting and pussies and penises and cocks and cuts and testicles and tits and... Funny how that all rhymes, isn't it? <laughs> well, I, I saw that and... And I thought about love. And, and about him. And about us. And then I felt it, that space, you know? That space between bodies. It creeps in when you're not noticing, and then it sits in there between you, silent and locked away. So insubstantial, and yet so unbreachable. A tiny, tiny gap crushing your heart. Something huge and ugly and unravelling, stretching on and on and yet contained within you. Gross and grabbing and nothingness that cannot be named, not like a dog or a shadow or a word, but like, like the sky. still in there, are you? I'm sorry I'm so late. Shit, it's past eight. There was this awful accident at work. This, this kid got killed. I had to... um, uh, and there was this woman. She was in a bad way. deal with this. I've got to get you some help. Look, I'll, I'll take to see Dr. Fairchild in the morning. You get on with her, don't you? Come on, Beth. cabinet. Have you taken anything? How many, Beth? Please, just, just how many? Come on, please, can, can you open the door? I, I, I can do something to help. I, I, make it, I can make this better, really, I can make this better. Please. Beth, Beth, I'm, please, can you open the door? I'm, I'm going to have to kick the door down. I'm, I'm going to have to call the police or an ambulance or something. Beth! Oh my god, you've done it, haven't you? Oh, fuck, I can't do this, what the fuck? 
Change, but I'm pleased. When I, when I went to see you, when I, when I saw what they'd done to you, that wasn't you, was it? You were so pale. Was the dress the right one, was it, Beth? I'm not enough for you. That's it, isn't it? But of course you're enough for Then why watch it? Beth. Why? Beth, come on! Is that the sort of sex you want, is it? Well, I'm not enough for you either, am I? What? Having a baby, you want a baby. I'm not enough for you on my own, am I? There weren't many there. Just a few people, her family mostly. I didn't tell anyone. I didn't want anyone to know. No one talked to me. Because they all thought it was my fault. It wasn't my fault. It, it, you should have told them that, Beth. You should have left a note and told them that. Have a baby, shall we? I know I said I wasn't ready before, but that, that's changed. I'm ready now. You wait and see. I'll be I'll be the best dad there ever was. And I love you. baby as much as it's possible to love anyone. You girls go on. You can't have a little rest. Yeah, you'll need it after what you've drunk already. Can you stop it? It's the weekend! Oh, so drinking excessively at the weekend doesn't make you an alcoholic, I suppose. Can you leave it. She's about to go to uni. Not until you're seen, Dad. Any excuse for you will do. Is it still with that tomorrow? Oh, yeah? Anyone good playing? Oh, I don't know. I'm just going to go with Suzette. Oh, good. Where's she off to? Uh, Edinburgh. Primary education. You'll have a good time at Exeter. Hand on heart. Uni years. Best time of my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm not worried. Ow, Mum! <laughs> Sorry. Come on, focus. Yep, you better. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But 
Seriously, where did you fuck off to? It's like you disappeared off the face of the fucking earth. Well, like, I'm around, but like, mostly weekends, you know? What, are you working somewhere? Oh, you know not that old folks home, are ya? Station Florida today, skanky old biddies are us. It's not an old folks home, it's a physiotherapy clinic. A fucking what? You know, a bit like a massage salon. So you're still there? Fucking hell. Yeah. What about you? What about me? You working? Working. How could I be working? I've got the little ones to take care of, haven't I? For working. Actually, I am working. It's hard work, you know, bringing him up. You ever try getting up at 6am and being a slave to a little ungrateful shit like him? I mean, all day long I'm picking up his clothes, his toys, making him tea, washing, cooking, cleaning, all day long. It's not a 9 to 5 job being a parent, it's hard work, mate. Yeah, of course it is. And then, at the end of the day, when he's finally shut the fuck up and gone to bed, <laughs> I can't even get pissed with me old mate, cause she's fucked off to uni fucking varsity. Why so many angry at Ruskin, it's not that far. <laughs> then, I haven't ever seen her. <laughs> oh, you know, it's tricky, like deadlines and stuff, I don't really see no one. So what, you studying? How to feel up old fuckers? So Come on, tell us. I told you, it's to be a physiotherapist. Ooh, you're fucking important, aren't you? Come on, help me up. Let me. Give me a push, it's not that high. Yeah, it's further back, I can see it. I'm sure Hold I'll on. reach it. This lad's got a ladder, wait a sec. Oi mate, can we borrow your ladder? Yeah, sure mate. Yeah. Uh, health and safety. Come on mate, we got a shuttle got caught up there. Oh, I'm sorry sir, I cannot let you use the ladder, it's against corporate policy. Sure it is, but we only need it for a minute. Well, I can't help you, I'm afraid. Our jobs will be on the line. Yeah, sorry about that. So what are you up to then? Pruning this beauty, huh? Yeah. Hey, no, 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 no. Hey, come on, please. Fender in six years. I mean the brutal game of heavy industrial equipment. Drag line excavators. Cost you more than half a million quid, a new one. And what I want to know from you is when you're going to buy a drag line excavator, are you going to buy it from the tosser with the bullet point presentation from Reading? Or from me, who's been meeting you for a pint at lunchtime for five years? Your mate. Can you buy it from your mate? The person who drinks with you at the pub. That's how there's bread on the table for her and that baby. I didn't design English culture. I understand what's giving her this cruel streak. Kicking me out of the house. She's never done that before. She's jealous of daddy's girl. My baby, Sarah. Something's not right in her head, poor thing. All new mothers are a bit mad. But you know what, mate? I think it's her friends, those harpies, with their theatre husbands and journalist husbands. Stupid inbred toffs to a man. But somehow they can pay for a nanny. Never survive in equipment sales, I promise you that. I was supposed to be home early last night, but hand on heart, no one mentioned it to me. I told you I had to help my mother. No, you didn't. Imogen is so sure she'll be the martyr that she makes it so. Honestly, it makes me wonder about all those other martyrs. Well, like in history, did they have it coming? Like that bloke with the arrow sticking out of him, tied to a tree. Was he just a right rule pain in the arse? And Joan of Arc, sorely provoking she was, I'll bet you. You married me? No. Don't be jealous. We did stop after work. For a quick one. The daggers are out when I get home. She hands me the baby and she's out the door, slammed. Well, Sarah is wailing. She, she may have been hot, she screamed, but it goes right through me. Christ, Christ, dismal fucking moment. I put her in the cot uh, and, I, and I shut the door. Our flat's an echo chamber, mate. She, she keeps screaming and I need a beer. Hand on heart, since that night at the Marquis, I don't touch spirits, I drink beer. One beer is nothing. I'll just like when the edge is off. <laughs> we're all a little nicer when we're pissed. I 
have more than one. We don't have long to wait at Adam Brooks. And they didn't even keep her overnight in the end. Imogen just had to push those fat syringes of Deorolite into her mouth to get hydrated. She doesn't need a drip. She only had one convulsion the moment she got home, if she didn't imagine it. And I have to stay in the waiting area. Not even Sarah's room. Smug tossers. Gossiping at the nurse's station. Telling me to go back to the waiting area. Who are they to judge? Fever's gone by morning. Fella, come on. Yes, Mum, 80s. Come on, how hard could it be? I really don't know. <laughs> Blonde, so not Indira Gandhi. And I don't think Thatcher either, not with that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mum. Well, of course, my first thought was Madonna. Grace but you know Kelly, Harlow Jean, picture of a beauty queen. But you know, Vogue wasn't released until 1990. So oh, God, whatever. <laughs> I suggest you don't put these on until you get there. 
probably a good idea. Are you cycling? I was going to get a taxi. Makes sense. Have you got any money? Oh, you've got my card anyway, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, you have a good evening and wish to set good luck from me, won't you? Yeah, will do. Have fun. Thanks, Mum. You. You're not going away, are you? Fuck additional tests needed. Fuck possible loss of liver function. <laughs> Fuck you. Services. How do you mean? To them doctors we need? Uh, quite, but uh, well, after today, whatever happens, you'll need someone on your side. Clive Henshaw. Well, in any case, uh, here's my card. Oh, take it, babes. I mean, I'm is... aware of her name. Melissa Haynes. The lady at the reception is a good friend of mine. I mean, don't waste no time, do you? Call me, Miss Haynes. <coughs> Here. I've got you. Chocolate muffin. <laughs> you like those? We did have some good times. Sometimes. Sometimes. You know it wasn't all your fault. Yeah, it was. Somebody should have been looking after him. He was only small, Dad. I remember him. I see his face sometimes. A poor little boy. It's terrible when people don't look after children. Yeah. Always easy. But when you're on the booze, you don't think straight. It's 
sort of creeps up on you. It's funny, it's funny, you know, you like it. Spark, start the party. Where it blurs the edges a bit, in a nice way. And before too long, you need those blurry bits just to get by. Otherwise it's just the truth. The awful truth. Staring at you right in the eye. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But that didn't mean... No. I wasn't thinking straight. You, you didn't have to just... What? Leave. I did, Sarah. I did. What about me? It's all right. Come on, love. It'll be okay, it'll be okay, I promise. So, if you're in agreement to the proposed course of action, I can provide you with a detailed breakdown of my terms. I need time to think. What time? What's the matter with you? We're not being sued, we're suing. <laughs> How good is that? We'll get you the best of care. Sarah can go back to Exeter. Well, I'll start putting a case together then. Uh, would you like some tea? I... Uh, Miss Haynes, uh, what is it? I'm with clients. Yeah, on you! Uh, this is Mrs. Norris, the other injured party and her husband. I think you know Miss Haynes. Miss Haynes, I never got a chance to say this to you before. We, we haven't really met, but as a mother, I'm very sorry for your loss. I could have shoot. Turn me in and stop me going for you. We know, and we're much obliged. Aren't we, Jack? Yeah, yeah. Um, this appointment is logged for Mr. and Mrs. Norris. And what are you going to get you then? Pretty badly banged up thanks to your dickhead husband, uh, do you? Miss Haynes, we haven't discussed... Because I'm this. going for a couple of million. How much? Uh, it's best we don't discuss... Going to be a salon? Fucking chain of salons! Isn't that what you said? Play our cards right? You hear that, him? You hear that? Why exactly are you here, Miss Haynes? Because you never give me back what I give you. Sorry? Oh, is this necessary? Right now? Last thing you touched that was, what is it? All that was keeping that fucking thing together. Your son nicked it. He collected stuff. That was just me, Roy. Last thing you gave me, my little one. And you, Mr. Henshaw, saw fit to take possession of it. Uh, it might have had a bearing on our claim. How old was Leroy? Five? Six? What? Couldn't help noticing you let him range pretty freely around that enormous park on his own. He dodged between our rackets on a couple of occasions. What? You're going to let him? At one point, I heard you call in his direction. Come here, you little shit. Him? What are you saying? That's what you called him, you little shit. I remember thinking, why is she so furious with him? He hadn't done anything wrong that I could see. Well, not at the time. What's she saying? And you were talking to your friend. What about? I have no idea. But it was obviously more important than the welfare of your child. Bitch! You fucking take that and back! And now he's got you cashing in on the tragedy. I'm not going to stand here and take this Let's shit from me! Let's all settle down, shall we? You are both aggrieved parties. Now, Miss Haynes, you have what you came for. Now, I've scheduled a group action meeting for us all on the 15th, by which time we'll all be calm. Too fucking right. I'm going to hang around here and listen to her. She said, posh fucking mouth off! Mrs. Imogen Norris? Yes, that's me. I have an appointment with Jane. Uh, yes, madam, but I'm afraid Jane isn't here today. No, oh, I see. But I have an appointment. This is my regular yes, time. Yes, madam. Now, try to make yourself comfortable. Uh, no, no, no. I'd rather come back another time. When will she be in? But, madam, like, I can do the whole programme with you. Like, I've done my 
training and everything, and like I've got your medical records here, everything, and like we do all the stuff you used to with Jane, yeah, like the exercises and massage, and I bet you you won't even know the difference. No, I, I thank you very much. I, I'd rather come back next week, uh, same time next Wednesday as usual, right? Well, if you like, madam, but Jane's not going to be here on Wednesday. Oh, so I should make my appointments for a different day of the week. That could be quite tricky. Wednesdays really are the best, but. I guess we'll work something out. Uh, so should I come through to reception? Look, I, I don't think you're hearing me, madam. You can't book Jane. What do you mean? She doesn't work here anymore. Yeah, I mean, I mean, no, no, she doesn't. So what you're saying is, if I want my therapy, I have to use a different physiotherapist? Well, yes, but... Like I was saying, I can do the whole programme with you. Like, I've done the training, the whole course, everything. And I tell you what, I've been doing a set of what they call mobility exercises with my nan, who's like 90. And she loves it, she does. Squirts with excitement when we're done, says she feels like dancing. So don't you worry, you'll be all right, my hands. I'm really sorry, but, I mean, no, no offence, but I... Madam, I know all about your accident and everything. I'm very sorry, but you really don't. I'm going to have to ask to speak to your manager. Sure, do you want me to go find her? Yes? Did, did you want to speak to her now or do you want to step into her office? Do you know what? Um, let's leave it. Excuse me? I've changed my mind. I, I don't want to speak to your manager. I'll just find a different clinic. You sure? Uh, quite sure. But, like, you sure you just don't want to, like, use your appointment today? I mean, it's all paid for and it'll probably take ages before you get in at another clinic. You're probably right. And, madam? I can see you're in pain, like, I can see that from right here. <coughs> well spotted. I am indeed. So, will you let me give you a massage, like ten minutes tops? What do you say, Imogen? The sky is getting darker. I don't like the look of them clouds. And the dawn comes up like thunder. I'm on the fucking supermarket! I'll pick up the keys. I'm not going anywhere. Making amends. Steve, one more. Fuck, it wasn't my fault. Good on you, son. Word in Edgeways. I was someone. I am sorry. My own place. I'm still here. Bloody saga. Playing the martyr. A flock of seagulls. A pre. <laughs> okay. Teeth in a fucking glass. Osteomyelitis. <laughs> a scrim. A fucking scrim. Well, free on the water. Thin, fragile filaments of cloud. Silent fucking cow. Flesh and blood. Never enough. You know, we're very much alike, you and me. The boat is still listing. Nothing really matters. My job, my house, my life. Is it my turn? She's gone. Ah, Leroy, my baby. I am good enough. Father and son. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fuck the pain. You're going to be fierce, girl. I can still hear it. 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 I can still hear it.